Hey y'all, it's Tony here at Harrisburg Hyundai, and behind me now is something we've truly been waiting for for years now, the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz in Sage Gray. Hyundai has been teasing us now with the Santa Cruz for over five years, concept after concept, and year after year we see the Hyundai model lineup changing and evolving to get a little more classy and luxurious. Now behind us we see this new Santa Cruz is not just classy and luxurious, but is also rugged and ready for the adventure. That's why Hyundai's brought out this new sport adventure vehicle. And the one thing that stands out the most about the Santa Cruz is the front. Check out this chiseled design now on your headlights and that cascading polished metal look now on the grille. So the side profile of the truck or the SAV is very soft and elegant with the front is just aggressive and rugged for that adventure. Now, just like in the Tucson with these edges now of the grill, you can see that your daytime running lights are gonna be integrated in this front grill for the Santa Cruz also. On your limited models, you're gonna have that smoked out grill, which looks awesome in hiding those daytime running lights. Now moving down, your headlight design are gonna be a stacked design. It's very crisp and clean, and it looks aggressive in the front. Starting at the top here, you're gonna have your low beam lights, and at the bottom there is where your high beam lights come in. Now inside of that are gonna be your turn marker indicators. Now with that new grill that changes up from the Tucson, the Santa Cruz benefits from having opening airways there, which will allow for better airflow and cooling for that 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. Now on your SEL and your limited models, you're gonna get the 281 horsepower engine with 311 foot-pounds of torque now, which is awesome for a small utility vehicle like this. Now when you go to your SE and your SEL standard models, you're gonna benefit from a 191 horsepower engine with 181 foot-pounds of torque. Moving down to the side, we see the side marker indicators. We also have this nice protective covering that wraps all the way around the wheel. When you see this protective covering now, not only do you get a little Easter egg, we'll go to that in a second, but you see this diamond cut material or hard plastic that gives you a little bit of pizzazz and, ag and aggressiveness around that wheel. Now, one thing that we love are these little Easter eggs that uh, Hyundai has put on the Santa Cruz, starting in the front and your left and right fenders that extend back to your left and right fenders. There's also another one, but we'll see if you can find that later on. Moving down now, we see a lot of the same styling we have in the Tucson. We have a body match mirror here. On your SC and your base SEL models, you'll get a standard color mirror, just like with a door handle. So they won't be body matching. We have this same diamond horizontal line that's all the way in crisp, just like with the Tucson, and it flows down to the bottom. So not only do you have these horizontal lines that make the truck look a little beefier and more aggressive, but it truly isn't. It's just as nimble and compact as the Tucson is. Now with how aggressive the front of the Santa Cruz is now, we move to the wheel package. Your 18 inch wheels, so alloy wheels are gonna be standard now for your SE, your SEL, and your SEL Premium. Now when you move up to your limited option, you're gonna get the 20 inch wheels, as well as the 20 inch wheels with your front wheel drive models, like we mentioned will be coming soon. Now speaking of these 18 inch wheels, look at this matte black finish on the interior with this nice polished machine finish on the outside. So when you're on the off-road adventure, you're gonna have the most rugged wheel profile out there, but as soon as you jump back on the highway or your cruise around town, you don't compromise any of that wheel quality or the ride quality itself. So again, now on the side profile, we have these aggressive, but yet subtle parallel angles. And as we move up now to our back window, we see how we have this little increase now, or acute angle for that back pillar, that C pillar, and that floating top part, that floating C pillar, and that buttress now that we saw with our first generation ridge lines. So that vehicle is kind of the stepping stone, or that truck was a stepping stone to what we see now in the Santa Cruz. And just like with the award-winning Honda Ridgeline, this Santa Cruz shares some of the same features now. Check out this seamless unibody structure and design. What this means is it improves your ride quality and safety now for this SAV. Now being only 66.7 inches tall, this is not your full size truck. It's not meant to be. What the Santa Cruz is, it's in a league of its own now. So we can't compare it to the Tacomas, to the Ridgelines, or even the Rangers now, because this is a sport adventure vehicle. So you have 195 inches in length, and like I said, over 70 inches in width. So it's nimble, compact, and it has that open bid ready for anything. And I know it's finally the moment we've all been waiting for. It's while we're watching this video. The rear of this Santa Cruz, and which truly makes it a sport adventure vehicle. Let's check it out now. As we can see with this bid, 
Dodge, Chevrolet, they all have their multi-functioning tailgates. The Santa Cruz has a one-touch flip-down button now for its tailgate. We see now a lot of automakers are lacking in the rear, basically. They're putting all the design, all the features now, or all the looks in the front and the side of the vehicle. But in the Santa Cruz, we have this very stylish and aggressive lower bumper. And we also have that nice little footstep. You notice on that footstep and at the top of your bumper, you're going to have this nice textured design there. So when it's raining, it's snowing, or you're in an open trail and you're muddy, you're not going to slip and slide now and get into the bit of that truck. Now down here again, like we mentioned with those Easter eggs, you still have one that'll be located right above your trailer hitch if it's equipped. And of course, everybody's going to wonder when you're in front of them, what is that vehicle? What is that SUV? Is it a truck? What truly is it? No worries. They'll easily be able to see that it's a Santa Cruz now with this awesome blown up lettering on the tailgate. We also see we have our H-Track badging and our gloss 2.5 liter turbocharged engine badging here on the side also. Now, because the back of this Santa Cruz is almost debadged, unlike previous Hyundai models where you have that giant emblem, you wouldn't know what it was until you look up here, right where your handle is. It's a Hyundai still, but most importantly, it's the Santa Cruz. Now also, in the rear, you have this nice soft one-touch drop-down if you don't want to use that key. So with all the redesigns now for 2022, one of the nice changes have been the taillight designs for all the models. Most of them feature this extreme LED light bar that wraps around the rear of the vehicle. The Santa Cruz now breaks it up, but it still gives you these awesome, acute, sharp guideline angles now for your taillights that are LED based. Now also, as you peek around to the corner of that LED light, you'll see where it says design in California. Now this truck truly is designed in California and built in Alabama. And the designers in California for the Hyundai manufacturing plant took a great deal of love and passion into making this truck. So yes, Hyundai is a Korean manufacturer, but this truck right here, or this sport adventure vehicle, is truly made for America. So as we see now, the Santa Cruz comes with a factory installed tonneau cover on the SCR premium options and up. What this means is now this is gonna be a steel cover, which is gonna protect any of your goods on the inside from the outside conditions and climate. Also, the steel tenu cover can hold about 220 pounds on the top portion. Now with one touch of a button, we can retract that tenu cover. But we also have our inside rope here where we can pull it back together to close it off and get ready to hit the highway. The biggest test now for a truck, even though the Santa Cruz technically isn't trying to fight that battle, is if a piece of plyboard or a sheet of plyboard will fit in the back. Well, you're gonna enjoy just over 52 inches of bed length and over 53 inches of bed width, or a perfect size of a ply board. Now, as we move inside to those fender wells, we're gonna get just over 42 inches, and we have our tailgate down now. We have 74 inches of total length in the bed. You have these two by six inch cutouts now uh, on the front side and the rear side of your fender well. So not only do you have the ability to stack multiple sheets, but you can also kind of level off the bed. So no, it's not your six foot bed that everybody thinks they need, but it is gonna be just as capable and just as versatile of any bed or any truck now on the market. Speaking of the bed now, just like with the Ridgeline, we have this steel reinforced composite material that flows all the way up the sides and the back of the truck now. So you don't have to worry about loading center blocks on the back, asphalt, things like that, and damaging that bed or the structural integrity of the bed. Don't worry about that. It's rugged and ready to go. So when you're hauling those heavy goods in the back now with your 1700 pound payload, you're not worried about damaging this vehicle in the rear because the Santa Cruz also is equipped with a self-leveling suspension system. So you don't have that old leaf spring design now that some trucks still have. This vehicle changes that up. Now, speaking of changing up, you have a 3,500 pound towing capacity standard now on the Santa Cruz. And when you move up to the properly equipped trailer brake system for your limited and your SCL premium, this vehicle has the ability to tow 5,000 pounds. Now we love the Ridgeline because it truly has the party in the back. The Santa Cruz still has that same ability now. We have these integrated holders here uh, for your tailgate. And then with one touch, we have this in bid storage and cargo area, just like with the Ridgeline. Now you can easily store some cold goods or even your dry goods, keep them in there safe and sound. And if you're at the campsite and you're fishing for the day and you still got some ice in there, and you need to drain that out, no worries. You have an instant drain plug release on the inside of that storage compartment. And because now that spare tire is located under that back storage or our bed storage, we don't get as deep of a compartment like the Ridgeline does. But don't let that play any tricks with you. It's still as versatile and can fit virtually anything that you need to keep dry in the rear. And not only do we have that awesome in-bed storage, but we still have two water seal compartments now on both sides of your bed. One side is gonna feature your 150 watt outlet. Now, if when you're at the campsite or at the tailgate, and the other side is gonna be Nice little drop down for all your dry storage and goods. 
So we spent a lot now talking about the outside of this new Santa Cruz. Let's jump on the inside and go over some of the awesome features that makes this sport adventure vehicle truly amazing. And now we're on the inside of this awesome Santa Cruz and we see a lot of the same similarities that we have in the new Tucson, which we love, of course. The way the center console layout is, everything's nice and flush and upward, which is easy to access as we're driving. Now, of course, with our steering wheel design, it's gonna share some of the same features and aesthetics from the Sonata and the Tucson with these great raised buttons here, easy access. We have our paddle shifters now that we're gonna have on the SEL Premium and our limited models. And then moving down, uh, we have our wireless charging port here on the SEL Premium options. We have our Hyundai uh, locking ability for our all-wheel drive, our diff lock, and we also have variable drive mode still. So in this Santa Cruz now, you're gonna get a snow mode, your sport mode, your smart mode, and then you have your normal everyday drive mode. So in your SEL models, you're gonna have that standard heated front seats, but when we move up to our limited models, we get some additional features that everybody loves. We not only get our leather seats, but we also get our ventilated front seats and a heated steering wheel. Now, speaking about these seats again, your SEL and your SE seats are gonna have this nice, aggressive, and rugged material. They're gonna be a cloth fabric. When you feel them, they're pretty much ready to handle with anything. Now, on the leather seats that we'll see on the Limited, they're gonna have that nice kind of U-shaped ring that the Tucson has, which gives it a very futuristic feel. We're gonna have our ability to check our parking camera at any time with one click of a button. This is gonna be awesome for that trailer hitch whenever we're going and loading up things in the back. With one click of a button, you can easily see what's going on back there without having to put the vehicle in reverse. Now beside that we have our emergency parking brake with an electronic shift system. Now beside your electric parking brake we still have our brake hold ability when you're at the drive through or when you're in stop and go traffic. Now moving up again you have the ability to lock your differential and you also have that decelerating braking and in between both of those are again our drive modes that we love so very much. Now on this SCR Premium model and your limited models, the transmission is gonna be an eight speed wet dual clutch transmission, where on your SE and your SEL standard models, it's gonna be a standard eight speed with the shift tronic ability. What that means is anytime you shift it to drive and you slap it over, you have the ability to upshift or downshift. Now, since you have the eight speed wet dual clutch transmission and your SCR Premium and limited models, you get those awesome paddle shifters. Now on this nice center console, we can see we have dual climate control now. Now on your limited models, everything will be kind of more digitalized, but on your SEL, your SC, and your SEL premiums, you get these nice physical buttons there. And you also have these scroll analogs for your volume and your tune selectors, which are awesome. And they also have this nice gnarly textured feel. Also, as we move up, all of our tracking and seek options for tuning and selecting will be on the right side. And anytime we want to change between our radio stations or our different media files, it'll be on the left side. You have this nice 8-inch gloss display now, and it just looks very clean and futuristic on the inside. Now, even though this is the SCR Premium model and it's very well equipped, when you move up to the Limited, you get an even bigger center infotainment system as well, which is awesome. And one feature that's really changing the market up is that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now that's gonna be standard now for your Santa Cruz and it's even wireless now. And speaking of wireless, we have that wireless charging ability now in your SEL Premiums, but you also have two USB ports and you also have that 180 watt outlet. So this 10 and a quarter inch instrument cluster is like a Swiss Army knife. You have the ability to not just see an analog and a digital reading, but you can also check your tire pressure. You can check the, the power management system now between your front and rear wheels. Anytime you change your drive mode selectors, it's going to display that up here for you. And if you don't like how those look, you have multiple different theme options to select from, whether it be a cube view or it be just another digital full display reading. Now with the Hyundai sensing safety features now, what we have are a few standard options across the Santa Cruz lineup. Your rear occupant alert, your driver attention level, and your forward collision braking system. And then as you move up to your SEL and your limited models, you're gonna have your blind spot warning that's gonna be standard as well and your rear cross traffic monitoring. Now in the back of the Santa Cruz, you're gonna get 36 inches of leg room and over 40 inches of headroom now in your models that don't come with a sunroof. And what does that mean? Again, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but check out how big the Santa Cruz is truly in the rear. Now in the rear of the Santa Cruz on your SE, your SELs, and your SEO premiums now, you're not gonna have the integrated ventilation system like the limited wheel or the additional USB ports. But what you do have is a dual action folding seat now, just like with the Ridgeline, and you have a manual sliding back glass. Now, just like with the Ridgeline's awesome dual folding 60-40 split seats, as you can see now with the one little pull of that tab located on the side, your back seats are up and now you can fully see your additional cargo and storage ability.
Now, as we see in the Santa Cruz, when the seats are folded up, look at all this open storage we have. So we can fit some taller objects now. We can fit a full bike if we don't want to put it in the back or multiple bikes. Also, we have this nice storage bin where we can keep a lot of our items sealed and tucked away. So we're talking about golf balls, additional shoes, or just even some spare clothes now when you're on the campsite. Now, of course, in front of me, we see that we have our jack and tool kit now it's for anything that happens on the trail or on the side of the road. But also, if you really need to take out the storage bin with a twist of about six bolts, this thing is fully removable. Mm-hmm. Very easy. Very gently. Now, I've talked your head off about all the features and what makes the Santa Cruz truly mind-boggling. Let's talk about price points, what matters the most. At the entry level, your SC model is going to be $26,675. As we move up to your standard SEL model, it's going to be $31,265. Now, when we talk about your activity package, that's going to put you around that $32,000 to $35,000 price point. And then we move up now to our SEL premium, the beast we're in now. MSRP is going to be $37,690. Now, when you move up to the head honcho, the limited, MSRP is going to change just based off of the port installed accessories. It could be anywhere from $41,000 right to $42,000, truly depending on what accessories are coming from the factory. Thank you guys so much now for checking out the new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. We're going to have a few of these hitting our lot soon now. Come on by and check them out. But again, thank you guys so much for your time. And hopefully, like we always say, you'll be taking one of these home soon. Peace out, guys. Enjoy.